I got my first wheelchair when I was a teenager. And it was, to me, it was like getting the car keys to a brand new car. I mean, now I, at that time I could go anywhere I wanted to. And I would drive down the road in my wheelchair and there was gravel on different parts of the road. And I would go down the hill of, of one of the roads and I, at the end there was like dirt and gravel at the end of it. So I would just like spin my wheels and just, just have a good time. So I was very hard on my wheelchair wheels. Um, I, when I first got the wheelchair, the, the tread on the tires were great. It was perfect. But after I got to riding around a little bit and hot riding my wheelchair, um, I would wear the tires out uh, pretty quickly. But if you, the way I used my wheelchair, I needed tires with good tread. And I remember one time I was going up a really steep hill off in the woods, and it was in the summer. And the wheelchair I had at the time, I guess the motor was overheating because it was so hot outside. So sometimes when I would try to climb a hill in the hot heat of Alabama, and for Alabama summer, it would the engine would freeze up and it would stop the motor. So I was going up this really big, tall hill that had gravel on it as well. And I was going up the hill and my motor froze up on me. I was like in the middle of a big incline. If I slid down that thing, I would have did a barrel wall off the side and I don't think I'd be here today. But the grip on my tires held me firm. And I was screaming, help, help. And thankfully the, the, the tread on my tires were, were, were good and firm. And, and I was able to stay there until someone came to help me. And I found myself in all sorts of trouble in that way. But thankfully I had good tread on my tires. And if you got good tread on your tires, you're going to be able to stand uh, firm, even if there's a gravel under your wheels, you're going to be able to grip better. And in our battle against Satan, it is very important that we have steady feet. And in our passage today, it talks about in verse 6 to 10, and as through shoes for your feet, I've been put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. So we're going to look at the shoes that are necessary for a good soldier to win the fight against Satan. Uh, we've been talking about already that we need to realize we're in a fight against Satan. We've talked about relying on the strength God gives us, and we talked about remaining equipped. We've already talked about the belt of truth, that's knowing the truth and living the truth. We talked about the breastplate of righteousness. It's being made righteous through Christ and living righteously. Now we're going to see that the gospel of peace helps us be made ready to stand firm. Now, if you look at Theopolis, you see that a Roman soldier took very good care of his feet. As you can see, he has like a half boot on. It's made out of leather. And the bottom of the sole of the boot was very thick leather. And um, there were often lots of traps that people would lay because if you could hurt um, the soldier's foot, he would be unstable in battle and you could easily defeat him. So in their half boot that they had, it also had leather straps that went up their leg, as you can see, Theopolis. Um, to hold the boot in place so that it would it would be steady and stable. But they also had the flexibility to move around and, and fight their enemy. But in their boot was also some hobnails. And the hobnails were kind of like the cleats on a football player's a uniform. On their shoe, it keeps them stable as they're, they're doing their plays. But that's the kind of shoe that the Roman army had that was very stable. Um, it was very easy for them to maneuver in, but it also provided protection for their feet. 
And guys, we have something that makes our feet ready to do battle with Satan. And that is the gospel of peace. And we're going to look at Romans 5 1 real quick. Christina will post it on the screen for us. It says, Therefore, since we have been justified, that means declared innocent of our sins, we've been declared innocent of all our sins by faith. Aren't you glad of that? And as a result, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So the shoes of the readiness given by the gospel of peace is the fact that we have been declared innocent of all our sins and we are at peace with God. There is no more hostility between you and God. God is now on your side and he loves you. Uh, he's got your back in whatever you go through. And knowing that, guys, makes your feet ready to stand solid when Satan comes to attack you. Because you know that you are at peace with God. You know he loves you. You know that he has forgiven you through the gospel. And the gospel basically is good news. So it's the good news of the gospel that brings peace between you and God. That is good news, right? And looking at Romans 8 gives us some more encouragement as we need our feet ready for battle. This is really good. We shared it earlier, but we're going to look at it again. This is, this is really needful for us today. What then shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? So if you have accepted the gospel of peace, you have become at peace with God, and if God is on your side, who can stand against you? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things. Let me unpack that a little bit. God loved you so much, he did not spare his only son, but sent him to die in your place. How, how would we expect that he not be gracious to give us all things, especially the power to stand firm as we fight the spiritual battle with Satan? Verse 33, who shall lay a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Now look at this verse, guys. Verse 37, this is what I want to lead you with. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So when you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, you, you put your faith in him, you believe he died for you, he rose again, and he as forgiving your sins and he lives in you. You have readiness to your feet and you know that God's got your back so you can stand firm. Now, we have a personal relationship with our commander in chief. Our commander in chief is all powerful. Our commander in chief has never won a battle, has never lost a battle. So with him on our side, knowing that you're at peace with God should make you stand firm and solid like a rock when Satan tries to attack you. Now, let's get real this morning. There are times in your life where you want to give up, aren't there? There's times in your life where you think that it's just too hard to go on. Maybe you feel like the enemy is just bombarding you and there's no way you can stand firm mm -hmm. on your own. Well, guess what? You're not on your own. Your feet have been made ready to stand by the gospel of peace. And so my question for you this morning, guys, do you have peace with God through the gospel of peace? If you do, then you can stand firm today when Satan comes at you. You can stand firm. You're forgiven. God's got your back. And you're going to win the fight against Satan. Now, also, when we're talking about 
the readiness of the gospel of peace, we also need to be ready to share that same gospel of peace with our friends and family so that they can have their feet protected and they can have their feet stable to stand through any tribulation and trials that they're going through. You know family members today who don't know Jesus, don't you? They don't have peace with God. And they're losing the fight and Satan is just having his way. We have the message and we need to be sharing that message. We need to be ready to share that message. So here's the challenge today, guys. If you haven't already done so, embrace the gospel of peace. Accept Jesus as your savior and become a follower of Jesus and he will make your feet stable to fight Satan. Also, remind yourself of the gospel every morning. It does us all good to get up in the morning and say, thank you, Lord, that I was once a sinner. You sent Jesus to die for me. Jesus rose again and he lives in me and I have victory today. So remind yourself of the gospel every day and the, and the confidence and stability it brings to stand firm in your fight against Satan. So remember the gospel every morning. The gospel is not something you believe and then you move on with your life. It is something you remind yourself of every day and reminding yourself that God's got your back. And that's the word for today, guys. If you got anything to share, Motivation Family, it's your turn. 